the moment we've all been waiting for. Please welcome Donna Sarkar and the Imagine Cup World Championship finalists. Hello, Microsoft Build. We are so excited to be here to announce who will be crowned the Imagine Cup World Champion. For those who don't know, who might be new here, anyone new here? Few hands. Imagine Cup has a proud 22-year-old history of empowering students all around the world to solve some of our most difficult challenges using tech. From the tens of thousands of students who applied, and we really do mean tens of thousands, every country in the world, by the way, we're so excited to have the final three startups live here with us today. These students are not holograms and they're not AI. They are real and live. Wave. <laughs> Earlier this month, Everyone, yeah, thank you. Okay, so earlier this month, these finalists pitched to our esteemed panel of judges. All right, here they are. El Sharaf, first of all, the CEO and founder of Roy B. Robot. Second, Ali Partovi, CEO of NEO. And third, Annie Pearl, Corporate Vice President of Ecosystems here at Microsoft. So each of these startups presented their solution demoed their technology, and fielded some pretty hard questions, I think, right? Yeah. So they were judged on their use of AI, their consideration of inclusive practices and design, we like that, and third, their overall viability. So these students are just so impressive, and you're absolutely going to fall in love with them, so let's get to know them. All right, Plan Roadmap, tell us about you, your team, and your project. My name is Leah, this is Ever, and that's Clay. We're from the United States. I go to Georgia Tech, and they go to Binghamton University. We created Roadmap, a product designed for people struggling with ADHD and task paralysis. Roadmap leverages ADHD-specific motivators and simplifies decision-making to help people start their task. We use Azure OpenAI to personalize the user experience with learned user information and the latest ADHD research. We want to help people work with their brains, not against them. That is fantastic. Can we get a round of applause, please? Thank you. Your neurodivergent friends, thank you, by the way, just saying. All right, so next up, Jerry, over to you, tell us. Yes, absolutely, Donna. Well, this is Akshat from India, and I am Jorge from Mexico. We both are students at the University of Oxford. And what if I told you that with a device smaller than the size of a soda can, we can revolutionize the steel manufacturing industry? Well, that's what we do. By using this sensor and our proprietary AI model, we are able to detect anomalies in the steel-making process, helping the industry become safer, greener, more efficient, and more profitable. And by doing so, we truly put AI to work for our motto, people, planet, profit. People, planet, profit. Can we agree with that? Yes. So we all know sustainable manufacturing is the future of manufacturing, yeah? Thank you for your work. Hardware is hard. Good job. All right. And last and definitely not least, from your eyes, let's hear from you, Zohair. Oh, first of all, hi, everyone. I am Zulal. This is Emre. And AJ is also joining us being online today. From your eyes is an artificial vision company that we uh, actually uh, trained our own custom AI model in order to customize and localize the video image processing and real-time image processing. We also use GPT-4 for the NLP process. We have three solutions right now. The first one is the API for the developers and businesses in order to give them a, actually the basic environment to build their own solutions. The second one is the vehicle vision in order to make vehicles see. And the third one, and the last one is the mobile application for visually impaired people, to, uh, people actually to allow them to see. So impressive, yes? <laughs> Great job. So, you know I love a good accessibility project. That's pretty cool. I love it. Okay, so all of these startups are doing absolutely incredible things with AI and making such an impact in the world. We'd love to see them in action and watch a re recap of their pitches and the competition. Let's roll. There are over half a billion people estimated with ADHD worldwide. In general, 
Someone with ADHD has a higher chance of dropping out of school, getting unemployed, having depression, all these other kind of ailments. And we want to change that for people. I think there's two big ways that Roadmap could change the world. First and foremost, I think it could help people struggling with ADHD unlock their true potential. And then second, we can start reducing the stigma against ADHD worldwide. Okay, Plan Roadmap, it's time for your pitch. Roadmap asks small, simple questions to help you break down the test into smaller steps. And it guides you through the conversation with tailored suggestion buttons to make it as easy as possible to interact with it. Let's take the test biology lab report and type it into Roadmap. As you chat, Roadmap learns about you and it tailors your future conversations to your strengths and weaknesses. It can also suggest integrated tools such as a timer which creates urgency or a music player if you need novelty, aligning with the interest-based nervous system of ADHD. Winning the Microsoft Imagine Cup would give us the funding we need to address more of the things people with ADHD struggle with. The steel industry is one of the top polluters, uh, accounting for almost 7% of the total global carbon emissions. And by using a small sensor, no bigger than the size of a soda can, we can create huge environmental impact, huge savings in terms of raw material use, and huge uh, added value in terms of profitability for manufacturers. Jerry, we are ready for your pitch. Our system detects lag onset at the optimal level, ensuring that the amount of wasted steel is brought down to almost zero with minimal slack flowing out of the ladle. The commercial benefits are massive too, with an increase in profits by an average of $1.5 million per annum per manufacturer. If we deploy our system and get about 10% of the global steel market share, we'll be able to save over 30 billion liters of water, over a million tons of coal from being burned, and enough electricity to power the New York City skyline for over two months. So this is the power of small incremental gains. There are more than 330 million visually impaired people worldwide. So our main purpose is to design the closest version of vision uh, with AI. Okay, from your eyes, let's start your pitch. From your eyes is an AI vision company, and we have two solutions. The first one is the mobile application FYE, and the second one is the API. Thanks to our mobile app, visually impaired users can design their own AI assistance in order to get descriptions to the photos, videos, or other visual documents as well. Thanks to our APIs, we integrate our solutions to the required fields, such as developers, businesses, and enterprises by licensing it. For example, when we integrate our APIs with the vehicles in order to become a car assistant for visually impaired passengers. The vehicle is driving on asphalt in great tones. The two-way road is framed by the beauties of the surrounding nature. If we win the competition, all of the visually impaired people have a chance to see uh, with the technology. I was quite blown away by all three of your projects. Every team member is working on um, something truly impactful. My words of encouragement are really keep pushing. Um, keep pushing during the peaks of the journey, but more importantly, you know, keep pushing during the valleys of your journey. Uh, and just don't ever lose this passion to really change the world. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still can't get over how amazing your pitches were. I, we could all use some life coaching on how to pitch like that, right? Okay, so the pitches were amazing, competition was incredible, and I'm so thrilled to be joined by uh, Imagine Cup judge Annie Pearl. Annie, thank you so much for joining us here today. So how fantastic are these startups? You know, Donna, every single one of these startups has shown the grit and the resourcefulness that it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. And it's been so inspiring to see their creative uses of AI. And it really just goes to show you what can happen when you take students mm -hmm. and you give them access to the power of Azure AI and you mm -hmm. let them build. That's right. And when they're given these awesome tools like AI Copilot and all of these things, it's amazing how you can just do the thing. Yeah? All right. So, in fact, all of these teams are winners today. Both runners-up will receive $50,000, and our world champion will go home with $100,000 plus a mentoring session with Microsoft Chairman and CEO Satya Nadella. Pretty good mentor, huh? Not so bad. <laughs> Okay, for all of you in person, you absolutely need to go up to the fifth floor, okay? What did I say? Fifth floor, 
demo theater and see their demos live because they're amazing, absolutely amazing. All right, is everyone ready? Yes. All right, here we go, there we go, let's go. We need a little excitement here. All right, let's go. And the 2024 Imagine Cup World Champion is From Your Eyes, from Turkey. Imagine Cup 2025 is now open. Everyone, please enjoy Microsoft Build. <laughs> 